Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry for the massive gap in posting videos. Um, obviously I have said on my channel before um, that I have a chronic illness and it just flared up quite badly towards the end of last year and there was a lot going on so yeah I just didn't get to do um, as much filming as I would like um, but I'm back hello happy new year um, I hope you had a lovely Christmas and um, welcome to my new filming space so this is my little craft room office you can see behind me all of my knitting and sewing and everything um, so I have like some writing space over there as well so I could go from like writing to sewing some curtains and it's super exciting and <laughs> so yeah I'm really really happy about that. Um, so today I thought I would do a makes video and just go through my latest knitting makes. I haven't done any sewing for a really long time now that my sewing room is set up I'm hoping to start sewing again so this is just knitting this time but hopefully it'll still be exciting. <laughs> um, so yeah this is the first time I've ever done this so I'm feeling a bit like oh don't know how to do this but I guess just get started and be like hello here's what I've been knitting. <laughs> um, so yeah let's start off with what I'm wearing which is the Aosta sweater. Sorry if you can hear the whining the dog's outside I've shut her out because she causes problems. <laughs> um, yeah, anybody who's come over here from my um, knitting and sewing Instagram, Stitch and Pearl, will have seen Pearl. I mean, you will have seen it from the other Instagram as well. She's on everything. She just takes up all the space. But anyway, back to the knitting. Um, this is the Aosta sweater by the Knit and Pearl Girl. So I've been wanting to knit one of these for ages. I've been following um, Sophie on the Knit and Pearl Girl for absolutely ages and just loving her stuff. I love all the patterns that she brings out. I think she's so talented. Um, she's such a good designer. And now having done the Aosta sweater as well, I see how well written her patterns are, how easy they are to follow. So yeah, I'm really um, definitely gonna do some more. But yeah, this is the Aosta, which I knit in um, We Are Knitters Petite Wool. This is in the color olive, which is, um, I mean, I think it's showing up on camera quite well. It's like, a, obviously, a dark olive green. Um, it's been really hard to photograph <laughs> because it just comes out like black or grey. Um, but yeah, it's lovely. And then it's got this, um, I think it's called Andalusian Stitch. I'll just show you. So you can see. So this is done, um, it's like a four-row repeat. It's super easy to do, but it looks really effective. And then it's got this lovely... Um, folded collar double folded collar which gives it this really nice like sort of hugs around the neck mine has loosened off a little bit and i know people have said that they've like popped elastic in and stuff but i think i'm probably okay because it still seems to be sitting quite well um, and i'm quite happy with it and then i've got this the lovely balloon sleeve which i really like as well i feel a little bit like when i'm walking down like my corridors a little bit like swooshy <laughs> like i'm some kind of like fancy tudor lady i don't know tudor ladies didn't have these sleeves but anyway ignore me <laughs> i'm not making any sense i just like the sleeves is what i'm trying to say um yeah they're lovely and the wool is so cozy we are this is the first time i've ever used we are knitters yarn and it is so cozy and so warm and just perfect for winter um so i finished this uh end of november i think and yeah i've been wearing it loads it's like the perfect cozy winter jumper i wear it all the time to walk the dog um yeah it's lovely so i definitely want to do another one i think i'd like to do one in a lighter color i think there's like the okra color i've seen looks really nice obviously lots of people do it in cream uh, my husband said he'd quite like one but without the big um sleeves so i would reduce it sophie actually did put up on her stories that you can reduce them and she's like ex suggested how um so i definitely think that's something i'll try at some point but yeah i'm so happy with this one it's like oh it's so nice when something's so relaxing and easy to knit and it comes out really well it's one of the first things i've ever knitted for myself in the round as well um i think the only other thing i've knitted for myself in the round was a sleeveless top i've knitted things for children and other people but for myself it's like a sleeveless top um and yeah i just love 
the fact that you don't have to do any seaming i found the um raglan increases really easy to follow as i say sophie's instructions are really great so yeah super happy with that one um i'm sure you'll see some more sorry i should probably stop swinging around this is my ergonomic desk chair that i got given um when I was at uni I applied for disabled student allowance because of my chronic illnesses and they give you all this nice free stuff to make studying more comfortable so this is my swingy ergonomic desk chair which is a total tangent and you didn't need to know about that but there we go <laughs> um okay so on to the next thing um I knitted this super cute headband um which um i knitted for christmas i wanted something a bit christmassy because i actually have let me show you i actually have three headbands in pastel colors it's because i wear these constantly they're so great for dog walking because you know i'm often like no makeup hair shoved up in a bun or a ponytail or whatever throw on a coat throw on one of these because you can't wear a hat when your hair's in a ponytail it just doesn't fit or looks really odd so i find these super useful in the winter for keeping my ears warm so yeah i wear the cream one the most but i've got some other this is the first one i ever made um out of some really cheap yarn and then this is a bit nicer yarn um but i thought i'd really love something to wear at christmas on dog walks that feels a bit more christmassy i've got a green coat so i was like i'll wear a red headband and just you know wear the colors of christmas <laughs> um this is also a super easy pattern as well um you can see it's got a cable on it it's just so easy to follow um there's two options as well you can either sew up or you can do buttonholes and buttons um if you'd like um but yeah i've made them for other people as well and they love them they wash really easy so i'm really pleased with that um i'll just check i've completely forgotten who makes the pattern <laughs> give me a minute right sorry yeah checked <laughs> it's the naoma headband by verily knits who is on instagram um so i'll put all these details in the description by the way um so that you can find the patterns but yeah highly recommend the headband if you want a headband it's such an easy pattern to follow you do it in a uh super chunky um knits up i mean i can i can knit one of those in like maybe an hour and a half two hours um if i just sit and like watch a film i can knit one up so yeah they're super great they also make really good christmas presents as well because you can knit them up really quick um but yeah very happy with that um yeah and then over christmas i just so as i say i wasn't feeling very well i was very tired i was really struggling uh with my chronic pain and my chronic fatigue I just wanted something really super duper easy um and i had seen i mean loads of things on penrose knits instagram is gorgeous but i'd specifically seen her school run hat and her school run headbands um and i just thought you know what i just want to do something really easy i grabbed some like random acrylic dk out of my stash and i decided to make the school run hat um which i think has worked out quite well um the only issue i have is that i can't put it on because i've got a ponytail but when i put it on it's a bit pointy for me um i have quite a small head so i think maybe i needed to start the decreasing earlier because yeah my head's quite small um but i absolutely love the pico edge i'll come closer and show you so the little pico edge you can see oh is it gonna focus there we go you can see the little pico edge there it's absolutely gorgeous um this is also a double folded collar so you like stitch it there so it's really nice and thick um yeah i love it it was a really easy pattern to follow it was perfect for christmas just like sitting around everybody's like chatting or playing games or whatever and i was just there knitting you know round and round and round in circles <laughs> just stocking stitch which was just yeah really relaxing exactly what i needed as i say i think it might be slightly big for me but um yeah i haven't had much occasion to wear it either it's not been cold enough for hats recently it's been very mild um here in england in so i'm based in the cotswolds so very mild in the cotswolds um unusually so for january and february so i haven't had much chance to wear it but i'm thinking it'll be great for autumn next year because it's such a gorgeous autumn color i actually have a jumper in the same yarn 
which may be a bit too matchy matchy <laughs> so I probably won't wear them together but like a nice cream jumper or like this jumper you know I think it'll look really cute um, and because I wanted to stay with the super easy chilled knits I decided to also make the baby version now I don't have a baby I'm not pregnant I'm not about to have a baby but I just wanted to make something really easy and cute and you know because the pattern gives you options to make the double bobble or just the plain single um in all different sizes and I just thought you know what I'm just gonna sit and quietly knit this little baby hat and it is super cute I just love it I mean how cute is that one day it may grace the head of a future child that I shall birth um so <laughs> I'm excited for that um the pico edge though didn't seem to turn out as well which I think is to do with m me and the blocking process um I think to be honest I probably need some different yarn I'm not entirely convinced this was the right yarn but you know it does the job it's going to keep a tiny head warm um and very cute with these little pom-poms so I'm pretty happy with that these two together little cute matchy matchy my husband is a redhead though so I can't um get him to wear this you know because I said it's slightly too big for my head because that would be cute baby in this husband in this and I could make another one thinking ahead now <laughs> anyway <laughs> um yeah so I'm really happy with those um super good pattern from Penrose Knits I also bought um the headband from Penrose Knits um which is the same with the Pico Edge so I'm gonna have a go at that at some point maybe later in the year because as I say I feel like we're getting more into spring already with the weather so my projects are definitely getting more like cardigans and things that I'm gonna get a bit more wear out of over the spring and summer I tend to make more jumpers for sort of the end of summer to like January and then cardigans um just because I'm one of those people who like wants to wear their makes constantly when they finished one I think to be honest that's everybody isn't it <laughs> you put all this work in you want to just like get it on um and then I'm just like wearing it constantly so if I make a really thick jumper I'm not obviously going to be able to wear it um so yeah really pleased with those um so that's everything that I've been making not a huge amount of knitting has been going on over winter um as I say I've not been very well it's been quite busy but you know I'm getting there um so I think now I'll just show you what I'm making at the moment this is what I'm making at the moment which is a cardigan I'm on the left front at the moment let me show you what it is oh I should probably explain though before I show you so um gosh how long ago was it I don't know this time last year I think um my auntie sent me a message and said that her friend was clearing out her mum's house and had found all of her mum's knitting patterns that she'd had for years and years and years um up in the attic and wanted to know if there was like a good home for them to go to because she didn't just want to throw them away so my auntie said would you like them and I was like aha yes please <laughs> vintage knitting patterns yes um so um I got all these amazing vintage knitting patterns um from the 50s right through to like 90s stuff I mean gold mine I didn't keep it all because there was a lot of stuff that I wouldn't have made or that wasn't quite right I kept a lot um but then I put it on my Instagram and asked if anybody else wanted some and they did so I posted them to people um so it's really nice that like lots of people get to use them um and I spoke to the lady a bit later on whose mum it was and she was saying you know she looked through the knitting patterns and it was like her whole childhood and growing up was there because she remembered wearing all of these things and I just think that's so lovely I hope like one day that's the case for me I'm like an old granny and I'm still knitting you know I've been knitting since I was 10 be great if like that was like a strong fond memory for people who know me 
anyway so this is <laughs> this is one of the patterns from the collection that I got I think it's 80s judging by the hair and the earrings <laughs> and the style um yeah so this is what i'm making sorry there's quite a lot of shine on this um there's probably quite a lot of shine on my glasses as well um i'm just i don't have any lights or anything so i just film in front of the window so sorry if it's a bit glary um but yeah you can see this is the cardigan so there's also a top that you can knit that she's wearing underneath um which <laughs> i think would be very matchy matchy i don't think that's quite the style i want to go for although my sister-in-law did say that she actually really liked the top but then she's a lot younger than me and the young people of today <laughs> makes me sound so old <laughs> i'm 27 but the young people of today um are very like 90s in their style aren't they there's like it looks like you're on the like set of friends or something at the moment when you look at young people um got all miranda heart there <laughs> um anyway this is the cardigan i'm making and i'm making it in um my favorite acrylic dk which is stylecraft special dk i use it for all the knits that i've made for my friends children because it washes really well it doesn't seem to get damaged or bubble that easily um so i've made myself a cardigan and a jumper in it um and they're super soft they wash really easily i don't worry too much about what i do in them because i know i can wash them easily so i just thought you know what i'd really love that because i have a cream cardi that's made in row and brushed fleece um which i love it's so cozy and so soft and so lovely but the issue with it is i'm always like scared to get it dirty or get anything on it because i can't just throw it in the wash because it's you know like 100 percent wool um so it's just i just thought it'd be nice to have something easy and light and acrylic that you know i can sort of be a bit more messy with um so i'll show you the back i've finished the back i'm just on the first piece of the front so this is the back so you can see it's quite a nice little pattern um it's got this lovely like v-shape sort of lace i'm not holding this up very well <laughs> and then it's got these like bobble details so yeah it's super cute so yeah i'm really pleased with how it's coming out this is the back so yeah i'm thinking though um if you look at the pattern um i don't know if you're gonna be able to see this very well it's a very classic sleeve it's tapered and you um start at the wrist like you do often with flat knitting you start at the wrist and you um increase as you go up to the shoulder i'm thinking that i'm really loving the balloon sleeve and i know obviously it's very stylish at the moment it's very on trend um so i think i would quite like to add a balloon sleeve to this i think that could look quite nice so i'm tempted i'm gonna see how this goes i'm tempted to um just do all of the increases at the cuff so just i think it doubles the amount of stitches and then it'll just be the same all the way up um and see how that goes i think that's what i'm gonna do um because as i say i like that style it's gonna be nice for spring it's very much like throw on top of a dress kind of thing um yeah when it's still a bit chilly I never know what the weather's going to be like last year for my birthday everything had just opened up after lockdown like the pubs had just opened up but they were still only serving outside and it was like 15 degrees and i was like freezing to death eating my burger outside um <laughs> and then like the year the year before that we were in lockdown and it was like 25 degrees scorching hot and we were having a picnic in the garden me and my husband and the dog so nobody ever knows what's going to happen in March and April, but I'm imagining I might wear this around my birthday time. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. It's nice to work on something as well. Like it's, it's a 20 row repeat, so you do have to kind of concentrate, but I found that the more I've done it, the less I need to concentrate. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with how that's coming along. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, on to my next thing that i'm currently working on which is bum 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 um <laughs> sorry that was anticlimactic because the wool's stuck and i'm like trying to sort it out there we go <laughs> socks um i've never made socks before um i'm slightly terrified of them but so far i mean i've knitted a tube so <laughs> you'd worry if so far i'd got stuck <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, so far it's going really well. Um, I bought this gorgeous yarn um, from Wool in Bath. So we went to Bath or Bath. Um, they call it Bath here in the south. I'm from the north originally, so Bath. Um, and yeah, I was so excited to go because I've been following um, Wool Bath on Instagram for ages. Um, and yeah i couldn't wait to go so i was looking around it took me absolutely ages to decide what yarn to buy but i sort of like focused myself because i was like oh my gosh there's so many colors there's so much going on i can't cope i can't cope um i was like think about the seasons spring so i chose spring colors um so i bought two sock yarns this is the first one so you can see it's knitting up really nicely into like this lovely striped pattern it reminds me very much i'm just gonna put the yarn down it reminds me very much of um scotland sort of colors spring in scotland um so yeah i'm i'm really happy with how that's going i'm just about to hit the heel um so i'm a little bit scared um especially because the pattern that i'm following i'll show you it in a second the pattern that i'm following is knit on um three dpns and i wanted to knit it up with magic loop method so this is also the first time i've done magic loop and actually it's going really well i'm really pleased with it um so now i've got to figure out how to do the heel because i'm it tells you how to do it on dpns so i've got to figure that out which is slightly complicated but i think it'll be fine i'll work it out so yeah i'm really pleased with those um let me just show you the pattern so this is the pattern um it's by peter gregory whoever peter gregory is i've never seen a pattern by peter gregory before um i picked this up in a tiny little yarn shop in scotland um near loch lomond when we went on holiday um in september because i was like i really want to do socks i really want to do socks um and it comes with four different sock patterns if you can see sorry i know it's really shiny so you've got like a lace one, a long one, a short one, and a ribbed one. So I'm doing the short one to begin with. Um, and then I'm hoping to move on to the ribbed one and the lace one. And I shall show you um, what I am, what, 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 what words? Um, I shall show you what else I bought at Wool in Bath, um, which actually I've got the label for this. Ta-da. So this yarn, which I hope you can see, is like a beautiful yellow, purples, like again, another spring colour. Um, Laura, who runs Wool Bath, was saying it reminded her of crocuses, and I feel like that is exactly right. This is by Dye Bath. So here's the label. Dye Bath. Um, as I say, I'll link all of this down in the description it's 75 percent wool and 25 percent nylon um and the colorway is sugared almond she calls it which is also lovely oh, lovely name um so yeah i think i'm gonna do the ribbed sock in this because it's like a lovely mottled color um so the ribbed sock will work really nice i think but when i was in that knitting shop in scotland i also picked up this sock yarn which is alpaca um, and it's like a dusty pink again a bit sort of mottled so I sort of need to decide what I want to do because I want to do as I say the ribbed sock and the lace sock so one of these will be ribbed and one of these will be lace I don't know which way around to do them give me a little idea in the comments if you if you think one should be the other <laughs> make any sense um but yeah if you have like let me know what you think that would be helpful because i'm like Meh. but i need to finish this the, the stripey ones first because obviously there's still quite a lot of quite a lot of work um and then the other thing as well that i got so this i got for christmas which is 52 weeks of socks by lane um which is incredible obviously 52 patterns um sock patterns um they are you know a lot of them are more complicated a lot more complicated so i think to be honest i'm better to make as i say like these these ones that i'm making at the moment which are just a stocking stitch all the way down then a ribbed then a lace and then maybe move on to some of these but they are just so beautiful um i mean look at these ones look at these ones 
I mean, just gorgeous. Um, yeah, so I'm so excited to make some of these. Oh yeah, I love these ones. Can you see? Yeah, so pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that actually. It's such a good Christmas present. I've been asking a lot recently um, when people say, what do you want for your birthday? What do you want for Christmas? I'm trying to like, you know, pick beautiful, well, I say I'm trying to pick, I've always picked beautiful books, but yeah, like crafting books that I wouldn't normally buy myself because they're a bit expensive. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying making socks. I think socks are like, could be a great little um, project to have always on the go when I'm like doing a bigger one, like a sweater or a cardigan or something, just always have, sorry, I keep cracking my hands, that's a really bad habit. I'm um, sorry if, you, if that makes you like cringe. Um, yeah, it's a really, I think a really good thing to like have on the go, just like a quick easy pair of socks that you can pick up because they're so small, you can like pop them in your handbag, take them on the train, that kind of thing. Um, so I think, yeah, having, having socks on the go is definitely good and obviously, um, useful because I wear socks every day. I mean, not so much in the summer, but the rest of the year, I wear a lot of socks. Um, and I love sort of like bamboo sustainable socks. So I'm excited to have my own pairs of socks. I also feel like if I get good at it, they will again make like really good gifts, like the headbands, like little sock, pair of socks for Christmas. Everybody wears socks. My husband wears a lot of socks, so I can make him some. Um, so yeah, I'm super happy about that. Um, and then my last thing to show you, um, let me get it, ginormous box. Oh, ta-da! So this, um, oh, fluff on my face. This, very kindly sent by Quail Studio. Thank you so much for sending this to me. Um, I've done some work with Quail Studio and Mode at Rome before. Um, this is the fourth project that they have gifted me which is so lovely and so kind um so you can go on my instagram and see some of the others i did a cropped ribbed knit like long sleeved ribbed knit i did um the haze cardigan with the bubbly sleeves <laughs> sleeves <laughs> sorry <laughs> i think i'm still a bit a croaky from my cold um and then i did a lightweight lace cottony cardigan which was summer weight um and now they've sent me more um so let me show you what's in my my box of tricks um well if i can open it successfully on camera i think i'm gonna put it down actually <laughs> so they've sent me very kindly the entire mode five collection um, which is just lovely because it means that I can actually do a lot more of the patterns. Sorry, that's the dog knocking on the door. Um, you know, there's so many beautiful patterns in here. So I'm really, really excited to make some more. Um, but I will show you the pattern that I am making if I can find it. It's called the Kai. Um, it is a collared cardigan. So you can see it's got a collar, it's got sort of cabling, um, I'll get some nice tortoiseshelly buttons. I am actually making it in this colour, which I think is, I want to say natural, but I'll just double check. Uh, yeah, natural 041 in Merino Aria, which is this. Oh, so soft and squishy. I just want to wash it and sh shove it on my face but I'm not going to because that will make it dirty um <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh, anybody else like this when they get squishy on and they're just like mm, squished um, so this is uh made with merino wool I think it's 93% wool and 7% polyamide 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 I think it's polyamide not poly polyamide <laughs> polyamide polyamide um so yeah um, I'm super excited to work with this. It's so squishy, so soft, so lovely. Um, I think it's knit in like seven millimeter needles um, as well, or eight millimeter needles. So it'll knit up really, really quickly. Um, and yeah, I think it'll make like the best sort of dog walking cardigan, super cozy for the springtime. It's like a jacket with the buttons. So I have to pick some nice buttons to go with that. Um, so that will be my project that I will start once I've finished the cardigan the lacy weight cardigan 
yeah so that's the end of my makes video i hope you enjoyed my first ever makes video there will be plenty more as i say hoping to start sewing again now i've got the sewing set up so i'll do a bit of um sewing videos and things over the next few months and um yeah any questions pop them in the comments let me know what you're making i love to hear what people are making i will put all the details down below and i look forward to seeing you next time bye